the last five years I've been running my own dragon boat business. I've got four dragons to work with and I'm retired now from my teaching job so I'm now dragon boating every day just about. To me there's absolutely nothing better than passing a finishing line out in front when you've got 21 other people all fighting for the same cause. The history of the sport goes back over 6,000 years, but the modern sport started in 76. The International Federation formed in 1991, and now we're 20 years on from that here today at the British National Championships. The challenge in terms of tracking competitors is competitors have to actually prove that they're eligible to race for a country or for a club in our championships. But also we need to check that the right people are actually in the boat racing. It used to be just cardboard cards that you'd put in a typewriter and you'd type on the competitor's name. It would take you hours and hours. And then, of course, the first thing they do would be drop it in the water and it would get destroyed. they have to start all over again. Up until now, every championship's done their own thing. They've produced a different accreditation card, maybe in a different way, from a different database. Well, now we've consolidated all that onto one IDBF database. And from that database, we can now print the common accreditation card with all the information on it, each competitor gets their own unique PIN number that stays with them throughout their career. And of course we can print it direct to the accreditation card through the equipment that Zephyr provided us with. We're all volunteer people working in the sport and the person who's designing the database for us actually lives in Warsaw in Poland. He recommended Zebra printing and we had one of the machines tested it and it was perfect for our uses. It's easily transportable, produces what we need and the IDs are, are just very clear and waterproof which is important. It's easy to maintain and cost effective for us as a purely voluntary organisation that doesn't get very much funding other than that that we generate ourselves from the paddlers. If we keep the cost down it's less entry fees for the, for the competitor. This type of ID badge just adds that extra dimension. It's easier for the boat marshals to check if you've got a badge with a photograph on it. I think it adds some more professionalism to, to what we're trying to do. It enables us to put more information onto the cards and again it's an easier checking situation. It's more effective. Going forward we're getting more and more competitors in and with the barcoding system that really gives us the all-round ability to know exactly who we've got, who they are, where they are, what they're doing. I think the cards are great, I really do. The biggest benefits for us is that the competitors going from events to events will actually have the same ID. It's also what is actually the business standard now for producing ID passes. This is what every company uses. Like all things, we went on recommendations. Several, one of the best in the business and that's why we went for it. <laughs> <laughs>